Hey everyone, this is Matt, that's Dan, that's Dave, and we also have our buddy Aaron on, which you actually can't see because he can't buy a webcam, but, uh, or he won't buy a webcam, but he's on with us, and you are watching Movie Punch for Wednesday, September 30th, and we all just got back, not together, obviously because I don't live where they live, but we all just got back <laughs> from seeing the live action. We three action. went as friends, and Matt is just some acquaintance. Yeah, he just didn't want to go with us. Right. I himself. didn't want to go with you. I wanted a yeah. peaceful movie, movie viewing experience. It's we true. just saw the live action Attack on Titan Part 1. Uh, we've all seen the anime. Oh, wait, Dave, have you seen the anime? Dave has not. I've seen two episodes. Okay, there you go. Well, that's that's some. Well, so let's let's go ahead and put out a couple of disclaimers. First of all, spoiler alert for <laughs> anything in the movie. What and... was that again? Did you say spoiler? <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, for anything in the movie, obviously we're going to talk about what happened in the movie, which may lead to spoilers in the anime and the manga, um, another disclaimer is we have only seen the anime. We have yep. never read the manga. We're admittedly not into manga. I've tried to be into it before, uh, various things. Just couldn't get into it, so we have not read the story. We've only seen the anime, so that's the only basis of comparison we have. And I want to go ahead and answer one question for everybody because I searched tirelessly all over the internet for this. And I couldn't find it, but now I know, and I want to put it out there for everybody. This movie, so it's two parts, mm -hmm. and this movie takes place over the course of the first 13 episodes of the anime. The first okay. two parts, or yeah. this, this first part? Th this first two. one uh, oh, okay. is, is episode, basically, well, it's more or less episodes one more through 13. <laughs> it, it, it starts <laughs> with episode one. <laughs> this is based of, off an anime? Yeah. And it ends know. with episode 13, <laughs> kind of, and then I'm assuming mm -hmm. this part two is the rest of it. So yeah. I couldn't find that anywhere, so there it is. I really want to know what Dan thought. So Aaron, what did you think about it? I, uh, I thought it was not too bad. I mean, okay. there's a lot of... Uh, if you've seen the anime, you probably will not like this at all. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, the the Titans were really, I thought were really, really well done. The <laughs> the uh, the the, um, the tools and stuff that they had to fly around and stuff like that was was really kind of cool and whipping around and slicing them up and whatnot and all that stuff. But there was a lot of really there 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 was a lot of really corny stuff in it. What do you okay? Dan, I, okay, so <laughs> I know what Dan. I, I, I know don't know what Dan's <laughs> talking about. The, the part where the girl pretty much raped the or the raped the dude by like. Well, we'll get to that. This is awkward scenes. It was so good. It was so good. Uh, Dan. So okay. So no, Matt. I want to hear your opinion first. Well, okay. Well, I mean. <laughs> Talk to me, Goose. So we talked about it um, elite, the, the last couple nights leading up to this, and our expectations were low, which I think helped. Um, because I went in with super low expectations, and I don't like to read reviews before I see movies because I don't want them to influence what I think. Um, but I did read some. And so low expectations, and I walked in, and there's some definite pacing problems. Uh, you know, so the uh, first, the opening was really dull, and then a lot of stuff happens, and it's really cool, and then it just stops. Like, it, everything just comes to a screeching halt for what seems like about four hours. And then cool stuff happens at the end. I thought it was okay. I thought it was decent. Um, it took a lot of liberties with the source material, and again, for us, the source material is the anime. A lot mm -hmm. of liberties. Um, but, and it cut out a lot, but what do you expect if you take, what, six and a half right. hours worth of anime yeah. crammed into an hour and a half? Yeah. It cut out a whole lot of stuff, but I thought it was decent. They had Absolutely. some weird, awkward scenes, like I think what you're laughing at, uh, but, uh, and there's some characters weren't there and some stuff was cut, but I, I thought yeah. it was tolerable. I thought it was watchable. Ashley mm -hmm. was, was kind of disappointed. Um, she said there were some scenes that, that uh, kind of made her awkward that she didn't remember being in the movie or in the uh, anime. Um, she said there was a lot of weird, weird stuff going on that was kind of, like you said, loosely based or mm -hmm. just took liberties with to do whatever. Mm -hmm. um, there were she, a lot of liberties taken, yeah. but there were a lot of stuff that was taken right out of the anime. So yeah, yeah. it was a kind of a mix of both. But she, she, she there liked more it. More liberties. More liberties than there were stuff taken straight yeah. out of the show. Yeah, oh, let me, let me she, say she that. Didn't, she didn't. She didn't mind it. She 
she she wants to see the second part. Um, yep. But like I was explaining to her, I looked this up today. I was I was trying to get some info on it, and this movie came out August first in Japan, and has been the number one movie in Japan since August first, and just got bounced yesterday by some other movie that just came out. So it's been number one for almost almost damn near two months. So either it was a really slow movie a couple months in Japan or <laughs> these people over <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing else about came it. out in Japan yeah. in August. <laughs> well to yeah. to to say to that, a lot of anime movies do hit number one over there because oh, yeah. they don't it's a whole cult, different yeah, culture. Yeah, it's a anything. whole completely different culture than what we have here. <laughs> yeah. So when I when I saw that I thought, well man, this is probably gonna be pretty decent then. Dan. All right. I will reprimand you after animation. the show. Dan, what did what did you so, <laughs> I had a blast the whole time I was there for the main part that the movie was completely stupid and secondly because me and Zane were just MST 3000 the whole movie through the entire thing I think what made it so much fun is because we were with a group and so we were just cracking each other up through the whole thing because we both seen the whole series but it was not good okay. wow. <laughs> well Ashley, was, yeah, Ashley got up good, to run to the yeah. restroom I yeah, me and Zane looked at each other and were like, she hates it so much she left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she, came back, she came back, she said, Dan said, I thought you got pissed off and went home. It was utterly bad to the point that I had a blast while I watched it. Wow, <laughs> I, okay. I, uh... And I'm going to go see part two to laugh just as much to that. Well, see, I think that's I think that's the deal with me, though. I think I liked it because I didn't, I hadn't seen it. Oh, I, 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 I'm basing, I am basing... <laughs> Right now, I am basing Attack on Titan on the movie. There are scenes that just <laughs> are so stupid. When the creepy Levi goes hugging up on Mikasa with his apple, just and we're just on that for well, five that wasn't, minutes. Yeah. That wasn't Levi, though. Yeah, Levi's it's supposed, not in this one for some It's reason. supposed to be him. It's, well, okay, so I was going to ask. Is, so the captain, was hit, Was that character in the show, in the anime? I couldn't remember him. There was a dude uh, that was fighting with Levi that gets killed, and another guy that takes over for the leader of the scout group uh, later on. But that character is Levi. Don't don't well, see. That's what like, I thought. That's Levi it. is not going to be in yeah. part two it's either. Too. Yeah, um, that's they just changed the name. It's like the yeah, the, the, the guy thought. the drunk soldier at the beginning, which was uh, you know in the the shows like. Hennis or Hennis or the, whatever the blonde guy that saved yeah. them when Sansonite. they were kids. Mansuota in this. And again, we're just if you ever watched our Game of Thrones shows or anything, we're terrible with names, character names. So our so, all of our videos yeah. are like, oh, the it's, one guy with the blonde hair who did the thing missed. one time with the stuff in it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, we just don't. We're bad with names. Going yeah. from creepy over there to the Japanese. All right, we have to make a feel for each other. How do we do that? Let's have a sex scene. Go, boom, throw that right in there. All right, cool. Now, <laughs> now, like, now, to, now dude, we're gonna start groping. <laughs> we're gonna have baby mama try to make daddy. Okay, but <laughs> the father. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but hold on. The father. So what? you're jumping. <laughs> yeah. You're jumping straight to that scene, which which is at the end. <laughs> No, I'm just I'm, but, I'm just moments yeah, that are awkward and weird and out of line. That out was of, and it's, yeah, it nowhere it belongs in in anywhere in that movie. The, <laughs> what, it, what I'm trying to discuss here is that the, it just jumps to just weirdness, and that's just Japanese. That's fine. That's totally cool. I'm fine with that, and that's why I had so much fun watching this terrible film. It was <laughs> such fun being in there. Uh, I, I had a good time. I'm not saying I didn't, but it's a bad movie, and I'm not going to give it any credit where any credit is due because they didn't read any of the anime or watch the anime. They didn't read the manga. They just said, let's throw giant people in, little people, big wall, make a meeting. I do have to say, oh, yeah. those Titans were creepy as hell. So I was yeah. going to say, so seeing the Titans uh, in, in quote-unquote real life or you know live action – and eating the people in live action a whole lot creepier. I'll give the movie that credit for that. It yeah. creeped me out a lot more than the anime did. Like it, it, it made me cringe a little bit. Oh God, you know, just doing eating eating the people and tearing them up. And mm -hmm. yeah. they did. Yeah. That's okay. But even then, I still it's, you. It, it, uh, <laughs> Dan's hurt himself. <laughs> It's not. It it's not well done. Anyways, it's it's okay. There's parts that make you jump, and there's some cool parts like that. It does have a slowdown in the middle. That that's you know where they have this whole 
talk and all this stuff. They did a couple of characters that were decent, like Sasha eating all the time. That yes, was fun. Yeah. Sasha eating the potatoes okay, all the time. That was perfect. Uh, what's her face with the goggles that laughs and wants her own Titan? Uh, she's done well in the show. But her name was different, I think, in this. Yeah, I think probably changed it. Just like Levi's name is somebody else. They made, they made him a different character. And, and she, that character wasn't even introduced until the second half of the scene right. of the anime, but she was in this now. Where I th- Hanjay, I think your name was? She's the like the scientist who wants to who who ins- who uh, does experiments on the Titans. <laughs> she so was on character. Like, she is like never in the anime do they go blow up the hole or try to do this secret attack in the middle of the night. Never in the anime right. was they, they they go look at the wall. They were on the outside of the wall with their wall uh, that was outside there. That's where their town was located, and they broke through the first uh, area. Mikasa is not a big wussy girl and, and, and I'm not saying a wussy oh she's a wussy girl I'm saying a girl that's just this person that oh, I can't do anything oh gosh I'm scared at the beginning which really irritated the crap out of me and then they go to, to, to almost kill her which you yeah, think see, that's what Ashley, yeah. Ashley yeah. complained about that yeah, too the just, like, like, yeah. are you seriously yeah. killing Mikasa what, what so is that was yeah, so, I, so, so that was the biggest departure from the show for me is Mikasa and how they her characterization wasn't wasn't on point with the show um and the fact that she she we i actually if i hadn't seen her in the trailers i would have thought oh did they really just kill her because at that point right. um when we when we think that a titan kills her near the beginning of of the movie um it was already such a large departure if i hadn't seen her in the trailers i would have thought maybe they actually did do that yeah. but the fact that the biggest departure was the fact that her and uh, Aaron, uh, that's how I pronounce it. Shut yes. up, man. Uh, her, yeah. They they get you split for a couple of years. Um, yeah, well, and then, that's the thing. Okay, so here's the hard part. This is what yeah. makes the movie bad, is that you try to cram a lot of information into an hour and a half, and you can't do that. It's just not going to work. They did it with Last Airbender. It didn't work. It was crap. You can't do that with this. There's too much you have to build up to get to a point to where this is all happening. I don't feel for any character in this movie. Mm-hmm. Aaron, Aaron is made to be a, a big old wuss. In the in the TV show or in the in the anime, he is not a wuss. He's yeah. the first to jump off the wall. He's the first to go after the Colossal. He's the first to do everything, and he's not scared of them. And yeah. this makes him out to be some... Oh, just irritated me. Anyways, there's that. Then they yeah. do the Mikasa thing and just throw that all off. But it's it's hard for you to take 13 episodes thrown into t- to a three-hour show and make that. I understand that. It was bad. I had a great time, though. <laughs> it was super fun. <laughs> but it's not good. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, nothing I, like what Attack on Titan is. I went in there with low expectations, so it, yeah, it didn't did affect me as much. And I did, too. I, 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 I was, I'm just like you, and I went in with low expectations. I'm glad. I, and I had been telling you guys up to this point, oh, yeah, we'll get to that. The music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but and I told you guys well, back, I didn't think it was going to be good but it was yeah. super fun being there with all my friends yeah. and making fun of the movie and having a blast and I laughed mm-hmm. and I cried and I punched people because they were doing <laughs> wrong things and I was just eating popcorn and just cracking up so I had a good time I'm not saying that and I'm going to go see part two because I want to see what they do <laughs> with the yeah, how they, how they go that too. it looks like it's Eden's Dude versus Med- Mega Eden. I don't know. They, they, the, the way the trailer at the end there, because they totally Marvel movied us with halfway through the credits, they show the, 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 trailer, the trailer for the second. Yeah. No, they were caught you there at the end. People leaving, and then all of a sudden, oh, wait. There's I was looking at my phone. I was like, oh, crap. They're showing a trailer that I haven't seen for the second one. Uh, so. For all its crappiness, you have to take that with Japanese live action. It's they. It's not going to have the budgets that a lot of American films are because they don't put their money into that, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. But don't go in there thinking that you're going to get a super strong plot and you're going to feel for the characters right. and you're going to be emotional and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> that's not going to be true. You're just going to go in, eat popcorn, laugh with your friends, and walk out and have blasts. Well, I thought um, so. One of the, so a couple of things that that were close, and we talked about a second ago. But but I think Hanje, I think the uh, the again the woman who does the tests on the Titans, and Sasha, those two characters were on point. Um, they were just straight out of the show. Other than that, all the rest of them, I thought I also thought Aaron was kind of a, a he was. I thought he yeah. was the most useless character in the entire movie because <laughs> yeah. he didn't do anything. It was like, yeah. what is wrong with well, this? Kid? I felt like they, they had two years training and none of them knew how to use their multi. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what I them. thought too. I was like, <laughs> they just got this new toy and they're like, <laughs> right. batteries. 
Oh, well, when, they, when she's go and jump, you know, they're they're at the one point that they're um, that they leave the the wall and they're trying to overtake the city and uh, you know they're they're run, trying to run towards the buildings, but they actually say where do we aim it? Well, in uh, that that bothered me because in the show they're already zipping around. In the first yeah. episode, they're zipping around doing stuff, and not again, not that it has to be lifted straight from the anime, but I thought oh. I, I thought that was. Just like you said, they've had a couple years worth of training, and there's a whole squad of them, but none of them seem to know how to do anything. And the only people that that uh, that know how to do anything are the captain and Mikasa. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the the character mm-hmm. of Mikasa was completely off. You know, there, yeah. she did not get split from Aaron yes. whatsoever. Not even there's, once. There, yeah. There's a line from All Aaron everywhere. Yeah, there was a line in the movie too when uh, he was asking about. Uh, Aaron's parents were like I never knew them. They died when I was young. Don't they like, kid? So that was so that <laughs> so that was the other big departure was they when the movie started they're already of age where in the anime they're young for one or two episodes when which is uh, yeah. okay because you can't do that right and, and that's that's fine but the the problem with that is the the moment where in the anime where the Titan eats Aaron's mother right in Mom, front of yeah. him right in front of him yeah and that's kind of what sets him on the path to <laughs> want to yeah. join I was the scouts when I was exactly. sitting in the movie and, and Mikasa shows back up I'm like and the guy's like what do you fight for I'm like well nothing now everybody seems to be fine I'm good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's back I'm fine I have no threats or problems with her we're we, totally cool I we, mean, <laughs> yeah so that that was a big point in the anime that 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 gave him his motivation and that was his mother was even in it he, he did he mentioned that they died when he was young maybe in part two he'll say oh yeah well no i was gonna say maybe in part two he'll say yeah titan killed her but they had never even <laughs> seen they titans had, no it's been 100 years so since that whole saw. thing um yeah. there was his his dad wasn't in it at all which mm-hmm. i think his dad when season two of the anime rolls around i think we're gonna find that his dad plays a larger part in everything yes. i don't know how they're yeah. gonna explain his tr- and a little bit of little bit of spoiler for the mm-hmm. show and this is actually just um guessing too but i don't know how they're gonna explain his transformation into a titan without his dad being there because i got the sense from the anime that his dad that's was responsible for that well yeah. They, yeah because they're going back to his house in the anime right to, that's what that's why they're going the to get yeah. the secrets of the yeah. titans yeah. and so they, yeah and his father knows a lot of it yeah, exactly. And, and and there's no Annie. There's no Annie. Yeah, no Annie. <laughs> which yeah. is a big part of the series is not even here. Now, they have the guy shrouded in mystery. Okay, so. And I'm going to take my mask off while I'm driving? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so. Job. I'm still going to drive the truck. <laughs> First of all, they had trucks, which is amazing, <laughs> and broken helicopters. But they have the secret dude. And first of all, the bump, the guy is shown at the beginning where he bumps into Armin, uh, Armin Hammer mm-hmm. when he's walking to uh, meet Aaron and them. Right. That's the guy. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to make this guy out to be the, I think that's the colossal Titan guy. And they, 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 mm-hmm. they played off a little bit. They're like, this guy's evil. He's dark. He's, he's shrouded. All that, too. that was at the very beginning. Up. Yeah. Yes. And then he shows back up inside the truck or it could be this rebellion they're talking about, which there is no rebellion in the show. Right. They're but all working together. Out. Yeah. But now that can change because there is a lot of turmoil between, you know, the, the royalty of the inner walls and the, the outer walls, things like that mm-hmm. and how food is distributed and whatnot. So that could be something that's coming. It could be something in the manga that we haven't got to. So we may not know that part. So you mentioned too, so yeah, one of the glaring things for me was, why are there vehicles in this? Mm, exactly. There, there, there were, shouldn't in, be any vehicles. Right. In the anime, they ride horses and, and pull wagons. Why are there trucks and downed helicopters and bombs? <laughs> exactly. Why are they disarming for making a battery for a toy? But they're driving around in trucks. Right. I'm like, right. How, why is he against the law and you're not against no, they said They said yeah. machinery was outlawed, and yes. that was never a thing in yeah. the show. Yeah. And that didn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, they didn't even build Gene up that much, which is the guy that's always fighting with Anna in, in the in the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have like it's it's just that that quickness because you have to get through the story so fast. You're wanting to do this over so many episodes, yeah. so you have to be all right. Let's do a quick scene show Anna and him fight. Okay, boom. Let's jump to this. Why is this outlawed? Okay, boom. Let's jump to this. Now let's do Sasha, Sasha eating something. Okay, jump to this. Go. And it's so <laughs> quick edited that it's like nothing really feels like it's working together, and that kind of messes with you. And it yeah, messes it up the, the flow of the Everything film. Yeah. Felt rushed. And that's just part yeah. of it because you're trying to shove so much information in an hour and a half. The only part that didn't feel rushed was that 30 minutes of just deadness, of just nothing in the <laughs> just middle. Like, where let's, let's go out beyond the wall. 
And then we're just going to stop and chill. We're yeah, going yeah, to we're we're gonna... get the bombs that never existed in the show. We're going to get those. And then we're all going to just start sleeping with each other. And yeah. have some awkward <laughs> moments of standing around and staring at each other for yeah. a few minutes. Yeah, that... <laughs> so yeah, so going, going back to the, to the traitor, and I won't say the name again just in case people didn't pick up on what you said, but in the show there is a essentially a traitor to to the oh. humans. We're actually kind of working with the Titans. That character that that it turns out to be, we do meet him or her in the fir- in the first thirteen episodes, um, but we we never met that character in the movie. Um, so, but yet there is somebody that tries to steal the bombs, and that that, that there is something mysterious going on there. There is a mysterious character, but that the character that it turned out to be in the anime isn't in this movie. So I don't know if we are going to meet that character in part two and if we do it's going to kind of lessen the impact i think of them being in this one because it's like well okay we learned there's a there's a traitor or there's a mysterious figure but we we haven't met him yet so what what does it really matter what is the big reveal going to be because we don't know who it is so i don't i don't really know what they were playing at with that um or if it's going to turn out to be somebody else or i don't really know uh, hopefully part two will explain all that i don't I mean, see but that's the thing I they're only know. going through the first 13 episodes so they may not even get to that information well, they, but no they've yeah, already done the, they've already done the first 13 this movie was the first 13 episodes uh they didn't seal the wall oh no wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute yeah no you're, this you're, one you're like eight yeah this is oh, okay yeah you're right this isn't the first 13 no. because it was episode five where aaron got eaten mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he sprung up as the Titan. Yeah, you're right. This isn't the first 13. This is, yeah. uh, oh, yeah, 13 was when he turned into a Titan and and put the big boulder in front of the wall. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. This is only the first eight or so episodes. So forget what I said at the very right. beginning of the show. This is the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but so there was a whole a whole big spot in the middle where, like you said, they go out of the wall but then they're and they're outside of the wall there's titans around it's dangerous yet we're gonna hide out in this abandoned building and i'll make out with each other which none of there was no relationships had at all in the show um right the uh there there's a character that comes on <laughs> that comes on to aaron and says will you be my daughter's father in a really awkward boob grabbing <laughs> thing while and- they're sitting there and a couple is having sex right next to him in the mm-hmm. room right over that has the blown out wall and <laughs> you're just like how do- but I wonder. I ha- I wonder about that. Is is the purpose of that scene to completely shock you when he when Aaron looks over her shoulder and sees the big Titan eye right there, and then he and then it just reaches in and eats her. I you, guess it's supposed to. Is it? Is it? Did they did they make it nice and sensual just so that they could shock <laughs> you even more when it goes the other but way? You're not going to feel any affection for any of them, right? It's, and I, fact, I, it's just like it's it was such a rush job. That it was just like, boom, now you're making out with this chick. Oh, I'm not supposed to feel anything for this person? No. And so the whole effect of the Titan's eye in the background is like, oh, a Titan's coming. Oh, she's going to get it. But I didn't feel anything for her. Yeah, I didn't either. I, didn't, I don't even know her name because she wasn't in the show in the anime. Um, no. <laughs> and that's the thing That's the thing with this movie, too, is I, don't, I didn't really care or like any of the characters. I didn't think any of the characters in the movie were likable at all. In the show, I didn't really like Aaron that much. Uh, I thought he got kind of—he was a badass at first, but then he got kind of whiny. But I love Mikasa in the anime. But in this movie, none of the characters are likable in the least. Yeah. Mikasa comes across Mikasa. as kind of a, as a cold bitch. Um, Aaron's whiny; he doesn't do anything. The only—the only thing I did like was Armin hardly cried at all and in the anime he cries throughout the entire thing he just always yeah, cried you know was he was a cry kid. baby he, the exactly <laughs> although aaron did call him a cry baby at one point called him out i was like ah, i'm with you buddy aaron cries or armin cries all the time but he didn't cry a lot uh so that was actually off character for him but none of True. the characters were likable at all yeah, yeah. I, mean, I like i like to um, misika in the uh the anime, she was real badass in that one, mm-hmm. and I loved Levi in that one too. Yeah, they were my two favorite characters in that whole series. Yeah, so. and, and Mikasa was a badass in this, but she she came across as right. very cold, um, and she yeah, she, she just was, didn't want to have anything to do with anybody except the captain. And even she didn't even seem like she really liked him all that much, even though I yeah. guess we were led to believe that they had something, some kind of relationship. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I don't really sure. that 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 came out of nowhere, and I don't really care about it because we don't we haven't known these characters long enough to really care that they're together. The only reason they have a relationship is to is to upset Aaron. But in the show, yeah, it was never even alluded to that Aaron no, or Mikasa they, had yeah. feelings for each other. They were they no. just they were more like and brother and sister. I don't think there is anything for that. I, in my opinion, I think because she feels more of him. As a brother. So I was thinking about this when I was driving home. I was like, all right, so Mikasa may be on her side because Aaron's the one that helps her in a time of need. Um, so she feels indebted to him, and then her, her his family brings her in. So she feels like she's connected to him for the simple fact of what he had done, which kind of kills her emotions at that moment in the, in the series when her flashbacks. Uh, so I could see her being in love with him. But Aaron doesn't treat the other two like that. He treats Mikasa as a sister, and and that's what he wants with her. And even with Armin, Armin in the series is not confident in anything like that. But even Mikasa and Aaron both tell him, it's like, dude, you tell us what to do. We'll do what you, you want us to do. Like, mm-hmm. we listen to you. You're a friend. You need to be part of this. Yeah. And uh, it kind of boosts up Aaron, uh, Armin's uh, confidence as, that, as well. In this, Aaron has no confidence. He has nothing. He is just... Ah, he's useless. He's completely <laughs> yeah, worthless. Yeah. The 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 one and all, yeah. So in the anime, he actually, like you said, Dan, he goes up against the colossal titan, which was the giant one who yeah. kicked the hole in the wall. He he tries to take him on on his own. He goes in completely fearless. And in yeah. this one, the only time he does anything with the on a directional device and try and he takes out maybe one titan and then he yeah. gets eaten. So yeah. he's completely yeah. useless. They're all useless except for the cat. All the entire. <laughs> Scout regiment is useless. We're running, running in circles, yelling and screaming. That's Wait a all minute. they do. <laughs> Big guy with battle axe is awesome. He was awesome. Yeah. He wasn't in the anime, so he was not. But I want that guy on my team. Well, He's and that, straight up yeah. jack so, guys. Love. So that was another thing. Is you know they so they they completely cut out the entire training. Uh, they just all of a sudden two years later and they made it into the. Yep, uh, into the scout regiment, and in in the show, they're part of the I don't remember what they're called, but basically they're rookies for a long time, and it's not till later on in in the series that they get to pick which regiment they want to go into, and that's when they get the the wings. What's it called? The wings of freedom or something like that. Wings freedom, America. <laughs> um, <laughs> but in this one, it, they already have that that badge, so it's like they went straight in. I understand that you can't show all that, um, but it was a little bit jarring because all of a sudden they're in there, but you would think they just joined the next day because they didn't know how to do anything. Yeah, um, there's there's survey corps. Uh, there's yeah. uh, the guard, uh, the the corps that uh, the, the uh, garrison regiment. Garrison yeah. regiment, yep. yeah, something like that. And then the there's, military police, which is they like got the, to, the hoity-toity ones, right? Everybody wanted that one because that's where you look, got to just go around guarding. Yeah, you didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wanted to be a military police. Yeah, yeah. They don't even bring up any of that because I don't think the movie's going to last. It's not going to cover any of that. Yeah, none of it. So either. I think that's probably why most of that was cut out. But again, you also have to save time at certain points. So why show a training regimen when you just push them and say two years later? Boom. Yeah, you can't. Well, and, and you but know, you and, lose all that character building. Yes, right. You do. Um, I would, but I was okay for the for the sake of time. I was okay with them not showing the training, but they they should have paid that off with showing that they're they're actually competent and they can actually do this stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, that because Sasha, been... Sasha's good. Aaron's yeah. good. Yeah, uh, there's a few of them that are really good. Um, uh, know, even even Gene. Gene is, is good. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he even gets better as the show goes on. Right, it's a character that you actually really start to like mm-hmm. because he wants to be a military police guy, and he is scared, but he doesn't. He, he doesn't lie about it. He just straight up just says, "I'm scared, but I'll do what I ought to do," mm-hmm. and he does it. And this... if they make this one out to be like some drunk jerk, which is like, "I hate right. you and everybody," <laughs> and rah! he's up on the rooftop. I'm just like, dude, is he drunk right now? Right, I don't understand? Right. He's scared to use his omnidirectional device. This this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it. I thought it felt like the Super Mario Brothers movie from the late '80s, early '90s. In that, it had the same title, it had the same characters. Other than that, completely different. 
<laughs> elements are there. Right. Well, yeah, Sorry. I guess Mario was just like completely off in left field, though. Right. What do you think about that? This one at least had the Titans in it, so it kind of felt at home. And you saw a cannon. I was even told, I pointed over to Zayn at the beginning of the movie and go, are they carrying guns? When did they Right. Well, yeah, guns? I thought that too. I was like, why do they need guns? <laughs> why do they got shotguns? Carrying- That's weird. So, um, <laughs> so we probably need to wrap this up, but the last thing we I want to talk about is the Titans themselves. So they went with practical... They went with actors, obviously in suits, and then computer generated to increase or to, to to enlarge. But did you like that better than all CGI? Than what would have been CGI Titans? Did you think that was the? That's fine. I mean, that's the best you're going to get from that. It was hard, probably, for them to create the scenes where the person is jumping or they're in the forefront because all that was on a screen mm-hmm. by, uh, by the actors and you could tell to a certain extent even though i think yeah. they did a decent job there uh not great but decent and you could tell when the titans were moving forward you know the shots they were doing but it was hard for them what they did well was the shots of here's a guy ah oh, hand comes down and gets me and then all of a sudden they're in the screen and being eaten or whatever like yeah. that. i thought mm-hmm. they did a good transition between those i'll give them credit on that yeah i thought i thought yeah. the titans were okay Mm -hmm. Um, and I thought the Colossal Titan looked really good, actually, and that was CG. Um, Mm -hmm. I thought that looked really good, and then uh, Aaron and his Titan form, I thought that looked good. So as far as Titans go... Aaron's Titan form was kind of weird. I don't know. It it kind of looked cheesy towards the end there, where they kept doing the close-ups of the face. Mm -hmm. You could really tell it was a model. I don't know, to to an extent. It looked like a model. Yeah. Yeah, but, but only when they did the close of the face. Like, it looked like the teeth were just those chatter teeth. <laughs> 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 it just wasn't. Yeah. I don't know. His wasn't good. The colossal one was, I don't remember any of them roaring, but. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that um, gives a part of the creepiness in the show is that they don't make sounds. They just have a smile. Right, I thought that too. Sense. Like, the, the first time you hear a Titan really kind of yell like that is uh, is when Aaron becomes the, the Titan, and he, Rawr! you know and that was creepy in the show so yeah i'm I'm with you on mm-hmm. that one but i thought I, you know for what it was i thought the titans were fine i thought they looked good they were probably the best part of the movie if you know ashley yeah. said that uh, some of the groaning and stuff she said it kind of made her think they were just large zombies yeah, yeah. i think that's what they're trying to do trying to give them a little bit more of an effect of a scary movie yeah. it kind of did a horror show-esque type of thing the, f- the freaking giggling that's what had me i was like that was what creeped me out most. That of was a little when they weird. were kind of when they were kind of giggling and shit. I yeah, was like, because I don't think they that, did that is in the freaking show me right the hell out right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. But I actually think that gives more emphasis of how creepy these things are. Yeah, I yeah. think they were trying to go for the whole scary. No, movie that's thing. what I was wanting. I was. Yeah. that's that's what so I like, liked about like it. Like the whole they're in the church thing and we'll have the door locked and he gets out and all of a sudden the Titans are in another room and they throw the blood out from the bottom yeah. there and yeah. they were playing the whole scary movie type stuff, horror film type thing. But it's good they didn't lack on the violence which is good because that show's full of it. Right. Uh, but yeah, I thought the Titans were fine and they did a few different things with them, but it, it, all in all, it was fun. So, yeah. Like I said, it's a terrible movie, <laughs> terrible but movie. it was a blast going. So I, yeah. so, 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 I'm having a good time. so I think Dan is the only one who really didn't like it and the rest yeah. of us. <laughs> I want to emphasize <laughs> yeah. this. It is bad. All right. Yeah. I think it's bad. But I had so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and I cannot wait for the next one. And I'm going to go and I'm going to eat my popcorn and drink my sodas and miss your science theater that one and crack up with Zane. Well, I had him almost, he was completely out of breath at one point. I thought he was going to topple over. He was cracking up so hard. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, we're definitely going to see part two, though, no matter yes. what. We're going to see part go two. See it. This is a good friend to go which, see with all your friends. Yeah. comes out in like three or four weeks. I think it's like around yeah. the 20th but of October. You'll have a blast with your friends. You have something funny to yeah, talk about. Yeah, go with a group if you can. And, yeah, it's you know, even when it comes out on DVD, go buy it because it'll be fun to bring all your friends in and you can all diss it in the living room. It'll be totally cool. <laughs> so much fun. So uh, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to us by clicking the button below or go to youtube.com slash nerdpunch to see the video for part two whenever that comes out in a few weeks and to see all the other videos that we've put up. Uh, we're going to do, we're, we've are we been trying to do more anime shows. We're having trouble getting, we've watched another one, but we're having trouble getting everybody together. Uh, we haven't seen Opie in like a month, so... Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, he's like, this I said that uh, Amber Alert. So. <laughs> <We're right. laughs> so we're trying to get everybody together for that. But uh, So yeah, so be sure to check out youtube.com slash nerdpunch for all the other videos. Uh, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. Check all of those out. Uh, all of those are slash nerdpunch. And nerdpunch.com is where you can see all the other stuff we're posting online and to check our schedule of upcoming videos. 
And until next time, Wags, thanks for being on. Yeah, you need to Wags. Be on, on more with us. Sure. Yeah, sure. Wags. Get a, get a webcam so we can see those uh, so th those dreamy eyes of yours. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll Wags. Get one here this Wags, week. afterwards, do you mind me and my baby's father? We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this I'll going. Oh, that no. Oh, we so will. tight. It's fine. It's tight. All right, we're good. We're good. Don't okay. wait this back in. Maybe next time. Oh, okay. man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.